right, howdy folks, how are we doing now? Do you remember when I was tanking a few videos ago with the T7 um, with our tanker and dribble bar? Now I was struggling with the old um, uh, finding me line because it's a 10 metre dribble bar, you can't see the mark you've done. And I was saying about auto steer, well, Elliot from ERH Services has bought his little Corvus buggy over. Now, this thing is great because he can take it to different farms and it's got the auto steer plumbed in so you can, you know, you can easily demonstrate it to folks like me to see what it's like in a vehicle and give it a test drive. So it's exactly what we're about to do, see what um, this system is like and see if it's suitable for my requirements. Right, so this system, you obviously you get a steering wheel with it, so that replaces the steering wheel you've got on your tractor. So that helps keep costs down, like, because you know these it's, these systems are expensive. Right, so the system we're looking at is a CHC NAV system, quite a new system, but I've heard some good things about them. You get a nice, what's that, a 10 inch tablet with it, so you don't have to use your own tablet, anything like that. Now you see, I've already put some guidance lines in. Um, these are actually a curved line, so we're going to just see, we're not on the line at the minute, we're going to see how well it picks up the line, so we're just going to move forward, press that, steering wheel is off, there you go, we are away. steering, I'm not doing anything. One hand's holding the camera, the other hand's doing that. And that's just following it. Um, we're on RTK, so we've got two and a half centimetre accuracy. So, it's, <laughs> it's bloody brilliant. It's not, the steering's not overcompensating a lot. We are getting, because we're in a little buggy, we're getting a bit of rocking as we go in the potholes, which I think that is, you know, that is feeding back into the steering. As it's, you know, the, the receiver on the roof is just moving backwards and forwards a bit. But, yeah, I'm not doing a thing. And we're still, you know, we're just following this line. Bang on as well, I have to say. Right, so we're going to head back down, just going to press the auto steer. We are off. <laughs> oh, dear. I love it. That is awesome. a look at this CHC nav system. Um, I've been thinking about getting you know a steer system for quite a while. Um, several have come and gone and I've thought yes, no, sort of don't like that. But this one I like that. Now that that warning is to tell you that we've got to the end. Let me shush, let me shush that a minute. Put her in neutral turner off. That was to tell you, because we're on a curved line, we got to the end of that line, like that you see, we're at the end of the line, it doesn't know where to go, because it's not a straight AB line, because obviously a straight AB line will go straight, but this, it, does it go straight, does it carry on the curve a bit, does it go the other way, it doesn't know. So that's why it shouts at you, we're at the end of the, well it thinks the field. So good little system there. It's still telling me. <laughs> so a lot of these guidance screens can be very tricky to understand, but this one, blooming simple. You've got your buttons there either side. Each one does what you think it'll do, like that does your, your guidance lines. Um, a, B, curve, you've got loads of different ones in there. Back, uh, you've got your nudges there, so you can recenter, put a manual input which way you want to go, or just nudge it. Um, that one there does your, um, how aggressive your steering goes in and out, um, all sorts, there's your coverage there, that one there, there's loads of stuff, but, you know, we'll come to that, we'll, you know, when we have a proper look at it, get it on the TW, yes, the TW is going to be the first one to have a go on it, um, 
we're going to see what it's like. So, um, but initial impressions on a fantastically simple system, and that's that's key because, like I say, a lot of these systems can be very technical to get the best out, but this one just seems very very easy to work, um, and that's in my book that's key. So basically, what we're going to do now is we've got to fit a screen steering wheel and a receiver on the roof to the TW get her all plumbed in and uh, we'll see what this uh, CHC nav system is like but um, yeah I'm keen to have a go keen to have a go like I say Elliot from ERH services he's supplying this CHC nav system um, and he's your man if you want to do anything that's guidance related he will sort you out um, he does CHC's nav and he does FJD dynamics, but like I say, we're looking at um, CHC nav um, just because I like the system. And um, yeah, basically, what uh, Elliot will do, he'll come to you wherever you want with his uh, Corvus buggy with the system plumbed in so you can see exactly what it is like to drive and operate. You know, you can set the AB lines and do all sorts of stuff with it. Um, so good stuff anyway hope you enjoyed that video and uh, I think I've got some technical <laughs> auto steer fitting to do at some point um, so anyway I hope you enjoyed that I'll see you on the next one ta-ta